Hey, everybody. Welcome to the High Def Lifestyle. I'm High Def Jones, and I'm coming to you live from the beautiful Costco Viejo in Panama City, Panama. Yes, Panama City, Panama. For those who know, I lived here for one year. So I'm back. I'm back in Panama to hang out for a few weeks, to get up with a few old friends, and just to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful country. So, trading. How do you become a trader? How do you become profitable? Some of you trade, but some of you may not be consistently profitable. Some of you never traded and want to trade. So it doesn't matter what level you're on, but the key is to become consistently profitable. That's what we go for. So let's go into it. Now, to become a consistently profitable trader, to be a full-time trader, to travel the world, to be a digital nomad, to control your time, to hang out with your family and friends whenever you want to, to take vacations and trips whenever you want to, to not have to put in a, a PTO request. Those are the things that I valued so much. And I went hard, I studied charts, I bought courses, I read books, I was on YouTube. You know, I, I took losses over the years, so I learned so much from the losses. I had to go through all of that to get to where I am today, to where I can travel when I want and have the financial freedom to be comfortable enough to just simply enjoy my life every day. All right, so a lot of you out there, you may be working eight hours a day, 40 hours plus per week. I was there too. And I'll just tell you a bit about myself. So in 2022, I was still living in the United States. I was living in Smyrna, Georgia. And October 2022, I said, you know what? I pressed that button on Google Flights. Bye now. <laughs> and I left for Panama City, Panama. Now, by that time, I had already been here to visit about three or four times. So in October 2022, that's when I made the full switch. And I just started living internationally. So I lived in Panama City for one year. Lived in Lima, Peru for about six months. I'm back here hanging out for a while and may go to, to Brazil next. I'm not really sure, but the one thing I do know is that I love to travel. So I don't care where I go next. I can go to Krakow, Poland. I can go to Bali, Indonesia, Japan, Africa, Ghana. I, who knows, man? I just love to get the passport stamped. And I'm sure a lot of you love to stamp your passport as well because you know how it is. When you get on that plane, and get off of that plane in a new country, a new place, a new environment. It just feels so good and it feels refreshing. And that refreshing feeling is what I have become addicted to, you guys. The refreshing feeling of being in a new place, new energy, and meeting new people. I'm a full-time digital nomad and all I need is Wi-Fi and I'm good to go. So a lot of you, I get in the comments on other videos, on Instagram, all over social media, and they say, hi, Def, I want to travel the world. I want to spend more time with my family, friends. I want to control my time. Well, trading has allowed me to do that. Trading is a skill set that's so valuable. I mean, I tell people, outside of learning how to walk and talk, trading is number three the best thing I've ever learned. <laughs> so walking and talking, one and two, walking and talking. But three is learning how to trade. That's how much it has changed my life. So I tell people it's worth the time that you'll be spending reading charts, reading books, taking courses, spending money on your education. It's all worth it in the end because you will be free. F-R-E-E. -E. There's nothing like being free and controlling your time. And time is our most valuable asset. Time. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have time, what is it? All right, so that's what trading does. I'll hop up in the morning, do a pre-market analysis, get into the market, and I may be on for 15 minutes, I may be on for two hours. Who knows, but I used to work eight hour shifts like many of you, and I had tons of jobs, and I mean crappy jobs to all right jobs, fast food, construction, call center, forklift driver at a warehouse. I've done all of the jobs, you guys, not all of the jobs, 
but I've done so many jobs. I, I've had so many jobs. So I can relate to you right now if you are working a 40 hour work week, eight hours a day, 15 minute breaks, 30 minute lunch, 30 minutes to woof your food down. I remember those days I was in Charlotte, North Carolina working for the bank and I was on the eighth floor. And by the time I got on the, on the elevator to go downstairs to grab a sub, to grab a sandwich, eight minutes or nine minutes had already passed. All right, get back upstairs, that's another six minutes. You know, heat the food. I mean, you, you, don't, you can't even enjoy your food. So I remember those small things being at work that annoyed me. I'm like, how can you expect me to sit down and enjoy my lunch in 30 minutes? And then a 15 minute break really got on my nerves, you know, crazy. But all that stuff is gone now and I want that stuff to be gone for you too. Currently, I trade stock options, I trade futures, I, you know, a chart is a chart. If you can read a chart, technical analysis, you can trade anything, whether it be gold, crypto, it doesn't really matter. The first thing I ask people is how bad do you want it? Can't fall in the pool. <laughs> how bad do you want this? You know, this is not something, when it comes to trading, you can't kind of, sort of want to do this. You have to be like myself and many other full-time traders. You have to be hungry thirsty, you have to live it and breathe it. And that may sound crazy, but that's what it takes because you have to spend a lot of time on charts. That's back testing, all right? You review charts. I look at charts every single day. You sit in front of that computer and you stare at charts for hours and hours. You'll start to see patterns. You'll start to see things that repeat. And that is when your winning percentage will go from here to here. Every trader I talk to, no matter who it is, it doesn't matter. They always talk about how much time they spent learning this. We always recommend to journal each day. You take a trade, whether it's a good one or a bad one, you want to journal that trade, write things down, look back and see what you did good, what didn't you do so well. That's not it. When it comes to trading, a lot of it is you, who you are. Do you have patience? Do you have discipline even in your own personal life? because that's gonna carry over into trading. Believe it or not, it will. If you're not a disciplined person each day or throughout your life, if you're not patient, then you're gonna find yourself losing money as a day trader. If you look at any successful athlete, the greatest athletes, they all put in time into their craft, all right? And you have to do the same thing as a trader if you wanna be profitable on a consistent basis. You gotta be willing to sit down in that chair and study, study, and study some more. Those are the only people who are profitable. So the party you wanna to go to, hey, I can't go. It's Saturday night, who cares? I'm at home reading charts and listening. You have to be a good listener, you have to be a good student. You know, there are people who really want this, but they're not good students. What I would love for you to do is take action today. Take action. If you want to learn how to trade, do it. If you've been talking about it for days, weeks, months, or years, stop talking today and start today. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be so happy you did. You're gonna be spending more time with your family. And I'll tell you one thing, let me say this. This is when my mind was blown. I remember the day this happened. When I made in two hours what I made in two weeks on my job, that's when the light bulb just blew up. It didn't, it didn't get turned on, the light bulb actually blew up. It was, it was a blow up, it, it was like being born again. It was like the, the, the sun came out from the sky and, I, could, and I, could, I felt the heat. You know, it was, that, <laughs> it was serious. So that is what's gonna really flip that switch for you. And that's what happened to me. What I made in two hours, what it took me two weeks to make, 40 hours a week, that's 80 hours. All right, it took me 80 hours to make this amount. All right, and then I was able to make that same amount in two hours. That's a 78 hour difference. So when I sat and thought about it that day, I was on my couch and I was uh, actually a, a general manager at a seafood restaurant in Georgia at the time. And I said, man, damn, I put in a lot of hours at this job and I just did this in two hours. At that point, I was Sold, I was hooked, and that's when I went hard, you guys. 
So I want you to get that same feeling. I want you to get that feeling when you make in just a few hours what it took you two weeks to make. Once that happens, you will never ever be the same again. I'm gonna go out here, enjoy the rest of the day here in Costco Viejo in Panama City, Panama. Hope you all have a great day. And I wanna thank you for watching this video and got more content coming. See you later.